the best way I can describe Zack Snyder's Rebel Moon is it's Zack Snyder's version of Star Wars. You've got this evil empire that's terrorizing everybody. You've got this farm planet who's minding their own business, and they're the latest victim to the evil empire. And then you've got the newest resident to the farm planet, who seems like she's normal, but way more backstory there. She wants to fight back. She wants to search the galaxy looking for people that can help them fight against these people. I liked it, but it's a typical Zack Snyder movie. Like, visually, this thing is absolutely stunning for 95% of the movie, but then there's that 5% that just looks like cheesy green screen. But for the most part, you've got what you want in a Zack Snyder flick. You've got the slow-mo action scene that visually will just take your breath away. I like the storyline because I like Star Wars. The only downside of this movie that I can say is there are many parts in this movie where... The edges of the movie are blurry, and the only thing that's clear is the center, and I thought it was distracting and stupid. But other than that, I enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to the second one. I think it's worth watching, but that's one man's opinion. Now is the part of the video, right? So you guys, please subscribe to the channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this. Smash that thumbs down button if you thought this review sucked. I, hey, it, it's on Netflix. You probably have Netflix. I would watch it if I were you.